Hey creative types out there, let's get back to our quest for time-honored crafts around Fukui Prefecture. Fukui boasts several centuries-old crafts, some of which are more than a thousand years old, passed down from generation to generation, and I'd love to share with you some of them today. How exciting! To do so, I have come to the Imajo Station, a historic post town located in Minami Echizen Town. Towards the end of the Edo era, the relay station was bustling with activity as travelers often stayed in the area when going to and from Kyoto or Tokyo. The townhouse line road stretching roughly a kilometer has stayed almost the same since, offering an authentic sight from the historical Japanese period. The area is also famous for its sake production, as the post town was home to 15 brewers in the Edo period, four of which are still open for business around the station to this day. I first stopped by a charming guest house providing an authentic Japanese experience. Konnichiwa. The guest house was established in a 90-year-old kominka, Japanese-style building repurposed to provide both the comfort of a contemporary accommodation and the unique experience that only an environment with a lot of history can offer. In the morning, I set out on my exploration of the Imajo station. In the beginning of the Meiji era, the Hokuriku train line connecting Fukui and Tsuruga opened and a train base was established in Imajo. The relay station was thus born again as a railway town. Then, at the beginning of the Showa era, a soba shop was established on the train platform, allowing travelers to enjoy the buckwheat noodles while standing, waiting for their train to depart. This is how Imajo Soba came to be known nationwide. Because of the stark difference in temperature between day and night around Imajo, it has long been the perfect spot to grow soba buckwheat. Next up on our itinerary is the pottery village of Echizen town. Echizen Yaki pottery stands among the six ancient kilns of Japan, ceramics that were given the Japan heritage designation. Echizen's pottery history dates back to more than 850 years ago. In the Middle Ages, its production, which centered on everyday items such as pots, jars, tea utensils, and other drinking containers, developed into the largest in the Hokuriku region. The local wares, notable for their simple texture and natural beauty, are also recognizable by their dark reddish-brown color and their strong and leak-proof qualities. A stroll around the Echizen Pottery Village Park is just like a visit to an outdoor museum, with all these great Echizen Yaki pieces on display. It's also possible to get your hands on your favorite pieces around here. At the Fukui Prefectural Museum of Ceramics, visitors can learn the rich history of pottery in Echizen and put their skills to the test by making their own masterpiece in the museum's studio. Under the guidance of a local potter, I previously had the chance to make my own teacup, which I still use all the time. It brings a little something special into my everyday life. Well, our exploration of Fukui Crafts ends here. For now, there is still a lot to discover in the prefecture. If you ever feel like experiencing traditional Japanese crafts, how about coming over to Fukui to get a taste of authentic craftsmanship? We'll be waiting for you!